embrace sustainability cooking from a different sort of angle compared to what I did last year. So we've always looked at ingredients holistically, you know, from uh, basically from the root to the flour. But I think it's something that's factored in quite a lot in terms of not just food sustainability, but it's the sustainability of the chef and the industry as well. So basically re-looking how, as a restaurant, uh, we can change the way that we, that we work and the way that we operate to ensure that our staff are taken care of, uh, that the work environment is, is fun and exciting, learning. I think maintaining a balance between work and home life is, is, hasn't just been about this pandemic. I think that's something that, you know, certainly, certainly highlighted it, but it is something that we should have been thinking about long before. When we went into lockdown and everybody's self-isolating or whatnot, you're very, you were all very much cut off from the rest of the world. It may, helped us to kind of understand and appreciate family and friends that we have around us. And I think it's important to have that work-life balance because you know, it's not healthy to always be thinking about work you know, and all the pressures and the stress that, that comes with the work environment. You, know, you should be able to, when you walk out of those doors, be able to switch off and I know that's 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 always been the biggest challenge for, for for chefs I can only speak for the chefing industry in that regard I think the public's sort of outlook in terms of dining out uh, they're gonna be a lot more open-minded you know the, the restaurants gonna to have to bring that 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 story in, into the dining room um, onto the menu you know I, th I think guests are going to be very open open-minded now when, when when they're dining out but yeah you know dining out is still going to be about educating the, the customer on where you source ingredients, um, where, where your suppliers are, what's so special about this ingredient. I'm seeing a big sort of shift away from that sort of pretentious, finicky, fine dining. Um, you know, menus are a lot more ingredient focused, um, less glitter and sparkle and more real food. Those lengthy tasting menus, I, I see that going away completely. Um, so it's about removing the pretentiousness of, 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 of food. Uh, getting a bit more raw and real with ingredients um, and a, a simpler dining experience but still with the same amount of detail that we see from fine dining restaurants you know that attention to detail and service in you know keeping things polished the timing of everything you know making sure that the guest is looked after the shift is going to come from the food um, I, you know but more of a relaxed dining experience I, I see the way fine dining kind of goes it's going to be a bit more fun dining than, than, than fine dining, I think. I've always been sustainably conscious in, in everything that's, that, that we do as a restaurant or that I do personally, but it's definitely brought up a lot of new things about how we cook at home, you know, how we source ingredients for home as well, you know, um, making sure that you're checking in with family and friends more regularly. So it's, it's I would say, sustainably minded, it's become a lot more involved now. And I think a lot of people are starting to see that as well. It's about just appreciating this, the, the little things. We're realizing now that sustainability is not just about the food, but it's about the chef as well. 